Okay, in this tutorial and the next several tutorials, we'll continue working with cycles and textures, shaders, things like that. And we'll do a little bit of practice and then we're going to also uh, start mixing between textures and, and we'll animate textures and then we'll use multiple textures on the same object. So it'll take a couple of lessons, but this will be good practice and it'll give you a lot more power to work with. And it's easy too. All right, so here's the basic setup. We'll have a new cube in the scene and it just has a regular diffuse shader on it there and it has a Veroni procedural texture to it and we've used uh, mixed shaders before when we wanted to go between say glass and diffuse colors we put into here but now I want to mix between different procedural textures as well so let me add another procedural texture to the scene let's add a gradient texture here to this and in order to mix between these procedural textures I'm gonna to have to cut this out and I'm gonna to have to add a mix color mix here so I'll put that up in the scene because I can't just use a mix shader. The mix shader only mixes between shaders. And so I'm going to connect these together and suddenly I have there's the, when we look all the way to one side, there's our Veroni texture. All the way to the other side, there's our gradient texture. So it gives it a nice effect. It kind of, you could simulate, I don't know, dirt on a building or something like that. And we could change this in here uh, kind of accentuates that just a little bit. Alright, let me see what I like. So I want a little more. So about like that it looks pretty good. Alright, so that's a pretty good effect. Now let's see what else we can add to the scene. So let's move this over. Let's cut out this link right here. Let's add a glass shader as well. And we need to want to mix those together now as well so we can just kind of put all kinds of things in the scene and so that way we need a mix shader again we've done this before like that okay I'll put that one into there that one into there that one into there and so now we're mixing two different procedural textures through the color mix and we're mixing two different shaders through the mix shader. Okay, so let's see, you can see the glass trying to sneak through on there. Let's give it a little more glass just to see what it looks like. Move it over towards that side. So, well, okay, that's pretty interesting. Not as, I don't kind of like it as much as I like this type of look, but let's just kind of see what we can do. I have the timeline up here, so let me just go get down here at this frame 40, just because, and maybe I'll set this so it's all, we're looking at the diffuse shader only in here, and we're just keeping this one fixed in place. Well, since I'm here, you know, just like we've done in a lot of the other lessons, it's likely you can animate these two, right? So you just hover your mouse over here and press I. Voila, it turns it yellow. How nice is that? So then you come up here to 140 maybe, frame 140, and maybe we're going to switch this all over to B. Maybe we'll make this, well, let's see what all glass looks like. Yeah, okay, we'll just make it all glass, and we'll keyframe that. Press I. So now we have two keyframes set like this. And by virtue of doing that, we should be able to just go between any location, just like that, and have an animation between the keyframes. It's so convenient, right? Well, then, of course, we could do the same thing to here. Maybe we'll take the Veroni texture out of there. Like that. Well, then, let's go back here. Let's go to frame 40. Let's set the Veroni back in. Let's say where, let's say where it was here. About 0.6. Like that. And I'll set a keyframe there. I'll come up to 80. I'll take it all the way out. I'll set a keyframe there, and then I'll come up here, and I'll drop it back down, and I'll set a keyframe there. So now I should be animating not only the mixture of the shaders, but the mixture of the uh, color, I mean of the procedural textures as well. So we'll, we'll just step through it. Let's see. I have to give it a little time to show up, otherwise I do an animation. Maybe I'll save it and do an animation too. Well, 
or you could do your own animations. But I think that gives you an idea. So take advantage of these. They're powerful. And then in the next lesson, what we'll look at is we'll start looking at uh, multiple textures on the same object. And then we can animate between those as well. All right. And I'll see you in the next lesson.